Therol. Welcome to our advanced tutorial for Vegas Pro 18. In this video, we are going to see the most advanced features you can use to ease and enhance your professional videos. Vegas Pro comes with loads of advanced features to better manage and fasten your work. Vegas offers several solutions to import media into the timeline. In particular, you can open the new Vegas Capture to record media from any external source such as a microphone, desktop screen, or webcam. Enable all the interested visual or audio sources you need and use the record button at the bottom to start recording. The resulted files get saved in the Captures folder, whose directory path can be found within the Settings dialog box. Vegas names the recordings with two numbers, the first one representing the source channel and the second one following a chronological order. You can also record audio directly on your timeline. Place the playback and then arm for record a new audio track to get it ready. Checking the import source on Record Import. Click on Record to start and stop the recording. Vegas Pro saves it in the chosen folder shown above in a .wav file format. With Vegas, you can also manage your media collections. The Project Media window lists all your media files imported that can be grouped by type to take just audio, video, and stills image files. On top, on Views, set how to browse through your media files and enable media tags to add tags to your selected media in order to look for specific files in no time. Inside Media Generator, you find loads of useful templates for your project, including checkerboards, color gradients, noise textures, solid colors, color patterns, and amazing text templates. Inside Credit Roll, you get several credit rolls with different styles. Hover over any to get a quick preview of it and drag and drop it on the timeline to import it. This creates a standard text clip whose properties are specific for credit rolls. Double click on any section to edit title, subtitles, and each of the columns if present. You can also add more sections by clicking and holding on the gray button and releasing it to apply. You can even import any script file if you have. Under Properties, set the blue text distribution over the screen and the scroll direction. Under Styles, select the correct item and define its text, font, size, color, and style. Besides the credit rolls, you can add text and annotations with ProType Titler and Titles and Text. We won't see the first one as it may not be present in future versions of Vegas. The Titles and Text section collects both static and animated pieces of text, sharing the same interface. You can set all the text properties, apply a custom color, some transparency, or a great animation. To place and resize text, you can also click and drag directly on the video preview. At the bottom, add any background color, outline, or shadow effect. With Vegas Pro, you can easily manage loads of clips in no time. When you have lots of them, it may be hard to select these one by one. If you enable the Selection Edit tool, you can simply click and drag over the clips to select them. Moreover, you can press the G key to group all these clips together in order to move and edit these in the same way without repeating the selection. The Audio Ripple feature is also very useful. When it is enabled, you can move the first clip in time to move all the others after it. Perfect to add gaps or new content without performing large selections. Vegas includes loads of powerful effects inside Event FX without needing third party plugins. Add Chroma Keyer to make any selected color transparent 
in order to customize the background of any image or video with the possibility to tune and refine the result with threshold and blur levels. This is great to deal with green screens. You can also add Vegas Bezier masking to apply some masking, such as selectable area that cuts the clip or any effect outside it. If you import this effect on any clip, this gets cut according to the mask one shape, by default a simple rectangle. You can adjust its size, opacity, and feather options and also act on the video preview, using the white nodes to scale by keeping the aspect ratio, the yellow ones to resize without saving it, and the inner node to rotate. A special type called Curve allows you to draw the masking area freehand. Enable the edit mode and click on the preview to fix nodes and straight sides. You can also click and drag to drop any curve by moving one of its tangent handles, following the standard Bezier technique. As you close the shape, the mask is ready so you can disable the edit mode to see the result. In this case, you can move, resize, and rotate the area as seen. Whereas if you need to refine the shape, enable the edit mode again to move any node or handle on the preview. In particular, if you select Add on Edit Tool, you can click on the preview to add more nodes or delete to remove any node or side instead. You can apply up to five independent masks together. Just turn off any edit mode present and enable any other mask to add it. These masks will sum up together, giving you the possibility to obtain multiple complex mask areas. You can apply masking to effects as well. For example, if you take any clip with the Gaussian blur effect on it and apply Bezier masking, the whole clip is cut as seen. But if you enable mask FX on top, the masking will be applied on the effect chain and not on the clip content itself. Vegas also allows you to change clip and effect properties in time by using special markers called keyframes. If you open the event pan crop on any clip, this includes default keyframes at the bottom, each saving all the clip properties such as width, height, position, and inclination. If you select another keyframe and change its properties, you will make a transition between the two keyframes, going from the first set of properties to the second ones saved. When dealing with effects, you can click on the watch icon on the right to show a timeline at the bottom, referred to the clip length. Here, you can fix several keyframes as seen for the event pan crop, each with its own set of effect properties, realizing a beautiful effect automation in time. Now let's see a great technique to make your live preview smoother. If the preview starts to lag, it is because you have chosen heavy video properties, such as a very high quality or big resolutions, such as HD or 4K. The preview may slow down even more when running live transitions or effects. In these cases, you may relax the video properties or use the pre-rendering, such as making a temporary rendering on chosen parts of the video project in order to see these crystal clear and smooth. It can also be used in case you want to check the final video appearance in detail. The render part is saved in your memory and remains valid as long as you edit any of the clips involved with your chosen region. Then go to Tools, Clean Up Pre-Rendered Video to release your memory for your next pre-renderings. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Get in touch. Vegas Pro 19 is coming soon.
we will realize a complete beginner tutorial and overview on all its new features. Don't miss it.